guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Emily. Welcome to the Weavers. Here is Luke. He's Hi. gonna be helping me today. AJ's gonna be helping me today. She'll be here in just a second. I'm, I'm gonna play with all I my chairs. <laughs> Here's Miss AJ. Today to we, hang on, chill. Today we are making steak fajitas, which is bell peppers, flank steak, and <laughs> onions <laughs> with uh, homemade tortillas. Beans and rice, and a smashed avocado uh, guacamole. Hang out with us while we get that done. So here is what we need to make our steak. We have two pieces of flank steak here. I just pulled these out of the freezer this morning before I left for work. We've got some garlic powder. We've got some smoked paprika. You take it off the counter. Chili powder. I'm using Himalayan pink salt today because I am out of my regular salt. And some ground cumin. Some lime. What's ground cumin, Mom? It is cumin. That is ground. It's cumin seeds that are ground. Lemon? Cumin seeds. We need olive oil. Olive oil. Yeah. Oregano. This is dried oregano. Let's get that added to a bowl and get it mixed up. So there's our bowl here. We are gonna pour in about a tablespoon of chili, this is not chili powder, this is garlic powder. We need to add a, ta um, a tablespoon of chili powder. AJ, give that a shake. Keep shaking, keep shaking. I'm gonna add just a little bit of paprika. It's like a teaspoon or so. Keep shaking, Miss AJ. We're gonna add quite a bit of salt. We are going to add this oregano here, which it smells so good. I'm gonna put it in my hand. It's about a tablespoon. Luke's gonna smell it. Oh, gonna smell it. I'm gonna put it in my hand. I'm gonna crush it in my hand to let all those oils out. Then we're gonna add in a little bit of cumin. Sorry, my house is really loud at night. Guys, get off the table. Get off the table. We're gonna add in some cumin. That's enough. I'm gonna need to grab a zester. Excuse me. We're going to zest and juice this lime. We're not gonna do all of it though because we're gonna use some of it for our guacamole. So we're gonna do. I didn't know you could put lime in. I guess you did, Luke. Okay, I'm gonna give this a little squish and roll. My kids are being loud and crazy. Yummy. I'm gonna use the half this lime here. My hands have cuts in them right now. Okay, so I have added in um, about a tablespoon of lime juice. I'm just gonna give this uh, a couple of glugs of my light olive oil until it's nice and wet. I'm gonna take my spatula here, give everything a good mix. You did. Aww. Now I'm going to add in my flank steak. These are just cryovac bags. Do not, do not eat that. Okay, okay, okay. These are just cryovac bags. Um, did you not hear what I just said? I, I just smelled it. Okay. Um, these are food saver bags. I'm just gonna put these guys in and give them a good mix in there. Mix, mix, mix. I bought these several months ago. I have them in my outside freezer. Didn't get a realization. Levi, stop screaming. Um, that I needed to use them up. So we're gonna top them then in. Give them a good toss. Get in there. Use your hands. Can I do it? No, honey. Remember what's mommy's rule with meat? Mommy touches the raw meat, right? Maybe I can too. When you're bigger and you know not to eat things and put everything in your mouth. Like okay, fingers. we're gonna set these aside now. I So we're 
we're gonna move on. We're gonna make our flour tortillas next. So Miss AJ is gonna measure two cups of flour into this bowl right here. Make sure the ball that's nice and full. So we do a big scoop in. And then we level it off. Can I do it? That's one. And then another big scoop. Another big scoop. We level it off. Make sure it's all the way nice and full. Level it off. That's two. We're gonna put in two cups of flour. It calls for a quarter teaspoon of salt. I like to add a little more salt than that. I'm also gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Um, hey, girl, can you chill? I'm just gonna add a little sprinkle. It just needs a tiny bit. It gives it just a little extra bit of flavor that I really enjoy. We are also going to grab a spoon real quick. Miss AJ is gonna give this Stir. Do not need the bowl, just stir. We're gonna add in three quarters of a cup of very hot water. This is just my tea kettle that I brought to a boil. Okay, three quarters of a cup of very hot water. That means you never want to touch it. And also calls for a quarter cup of melted lard. I don't have lard. Oh, somebody just got injured. I butter. I'm going to add that in. Levi, just got it. Levi, give that back. That's not yours. <laughs> Refereeing my life. Okay. Give that back to sister. That is hers, not yours. Give it back. Okay, so now we are just going to mix. Mix and 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 mix. Okay, we're gonna go through, mix this together, and then we'll show you when we're done. Okay. I know that you are happy. All right, so we've rolled that together. Now we've got a ball of dough. We're gonna let this sit for 20 minutes. AJ's favorite thing in the entire world, bell peppers. So, don't do that. Can you pick it up, please? Can you me? We are gonna cut up two small white onions, two yellow peppers, and I need to grab some garlic. Got a couple cloves of garlic left in here. I'm just gonna use those up. AJ, please get off my counter. Okay, so here is how I cut a pepper. I cut the top off, I cut the bottom off, I stand it upright, and then I cut down the sides. Remember what I've told you about touching mommy, uh, touching the cutting board while mom's cooking? Um, and then we cut that off like that. This piece has a little bit of discoloration, so we're just gonna toss it. What's the matter, Levi Thomas? Here. That's gross, that's icky. Hi, baby. What's up? No. Hey, Levi. We're not gonna knock. No, we're not gonna kick sister off. No. Mm -hmm. No, no. Mommy. Oh, I'm mommy. Yes. Mommy. You didn't cut the onions. I haven't cut them yet. So we're gonna cut the top, the top off. We're gonna cut the bottom off. This is my youngest Levi right here. If you're new to our channel, he is my youngest child. He is a year and a half, or almost. Hey, don't eat garlic straight. It's spicy. Hey, spicy, 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 spicy. Um, he's fun. All my kids are fun. My daughter Thea is over. My other daughter Thea is over here. No, AJ love. You get. Hey, 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 hey. You can have the small pieces. They're hungry. Pieces. 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 Okay, so I'm gonna cut this piece up here so that they can eat this. Okay, children, go take the peppers and go sit down so I can cut these up without them worrying about fingers. Okay. That, Levi, we have a rule. You don't touch mommy's board while she's cutting. Having a hard time right now. Then everything seems to crumble around you. I know that you feel 
all alone in this world But you have to Put your trust into us And we will help you through Cause we only want what's best What's best? <laughs> Alright, my kids are running around like little, like little crazy people So we're gonna turn off the TV all right, we are gonna make our rice. If you want this recipe, you can go to welcometotheweavers.com. That is where this recipe is. If you, you know, I'm gonna say the measurements, but you know, if you're looking for the straight up recipe, that's where it is. This is two cups of long grain rice. One cup of salsa, I use Jack's Organic Salsa. I buy this at Costco. I'm gonna add one cup of this salsa. One cup, actually sorry, two and a third cup of beef broth or chicken broth, whatever you have. You can use water if you want. Broth or stock tends to give more flavor. So I use two and a half cups in there. I'm gonna set this and put it in my, give it a stir. Everything's nicely mixed together. I am going to set this in my Instapot and cook it for five minutes on high pressure it's gonna turn off let it rest for 12 minutes until it's done okay we'll be there in a second all right we're gonna do manual pressure for five minutes Set the vent back, let it go. Okay, so now we are going to cut the blank steak, these pieces, the steak that I started marinating, I'm gonna cut it into pieces so that we can saute it with our peppers. So what you wanna do with blank steak, because there's grains to this steak, you wanna go against the grain. I'm gonna cut this steak in half, lengthwise. I watched a lot of cooking shows. And then I'm going to take my knife, angle it with the beef, and cut it straight down into thin little pieces. I know that you are having trouble believing right. That everything is gonna be, is gonna be alright. I know that you feel all alone in this world, but you have to put your trust into us, and we will help you through. Cause we only want what's best. What is best? We are now gonna roll out our dough here. So I'm gonna cut this into toys. two ways you can do this. You can use a tortilla press, which my mom got for me for Christmas a couple years ago. You take, I, I use wax paper. You take a little ball. I ended up doing it into 16 pieces instead of 20 pieces, which is fine. That's plenty. We're going to put that down, put the arm down and squish it down. Then we get a cute little tortilla like that. Which these are, these are meant to be little. Okay? They're supposed to be small. If you want a bigger tortilla, you can absolutely make smaller ball or bigger balls and do it that way. So the no. other way that you can do this, which is actually my preferred way that I like to do this, you, you, you can just squish it down with your You can use, if you don't want to get one of those fancy things that I have, you can buy a rolling pin and I have this off. It's okay. I've got it. It's all good. Um, 
I got this one on Amazon. It's called a French rolling pin because it doesn't have the handles on the sides. There's also, Mine they have does. versions of this that are tapered, so they're tapered on the ends for easier rolling. Um, I like this. It's just a giant dowel, honestly. Um, this one is the original Kitchen it. Company. Mine Miss AJ it. has the little roller pins on the edges. I also have another one with the roller pins on the edges. Excuse me, we don't need to do that. So, the way that we do this with a rolling pin is... We, we take some dough. We take some, some flour, flour. We sprinkle it out on the board. We take one of our little dough balls, roll it so it's nice and round. And then we go through and then we kind of just roll it a couple of times, twist it, flip it over, roll it, twist it, roll it, twist it, and get it into the best round, even shape that you can. They don't have to be perfect. It's okay. But we're just going to make these into some little round go, tortillas. This one is definitely bigger than that guy. Can you see the difference between these two? That's why I like to roll them out this way. So um, this way the glutens are easily rolled out versus the flattening method, which is literally they're just squished. So I'm just going to go through and roll these out. Miss AJ is going to help me and then we will get to riddling them. Trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best What's best for you For you What is best for you Okay, so I have my griddle pan here. I have it set to 350 degrees. Excuse me. Hey, here, Grace, that's not how we sit on the couch. Thank you. Here, you can have this one, Levi. Here you go. Mommy, I want some dough. Here you go. Here's a dough for Miss, Miss Fia, okay? Actually, I have this one instead, okay? Okay, I normally would use cooking spray, but I don't have any, so I am just going to add a little bit of butter to this grill. Since I used butter in the inside, I figure butter on the outside wouldn't be that bad. Sorry, you guys are propped up next to my cabinet. That's why there's a white corner there. We are just going to place these on my little flat top here. Maybe five. Let them cook. Dia, look. Don't play with my... Okay, so you see how they've got that nice golden to them that's what we want they're like pancakes kind of tortilla pancakes all right we're gonna let them cook on the other side while we go over and add stuff to that pan so i'm gonna take my very large skillet here clean off i've got a project going that's what these are for. Um, i'm gonna turn this up very very hot because i'm gonna do this really fast i'm gonna turn this on very very high and let that warm up Screaming hot now. I'm gonna add in some light olive oil here. I'm gonna add in my veggies first. Just because my veggies need to cook a little longer than my meat does. Why? Dude, you did that to yourself. Why are you 
crying. You're crying. You, you did that to yourself, dude. Okay. I'm gonna get everybody out in a nice even layer here. Break out the onions. Yes, I know there are more onions than peppers. I was using what I had. I'm just gonna get this very well cooked before I add in my meat. I'm gonna add in some salt. Help sway out those onions. All right, well that cooks. We're gonna redirect you guys to my Insta bar right there. 12 minutes, we're gonna pop that valve. This went for you guys can see this too. I'm gonna give this a mix. I'm gonna get some good color on it. Okay, so now that that has dropped, this back little corner has dropped, we're gonna twist it, take that off, set that in. If it wants to sit, we'll see. It might be too close. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of butter. Give this a mix. Literally, this method, I get perfect rice every single time. I've read a lot of recipes where it's like, oh, it's a one-to-one -one ratio for Instapot. No, it's not. It's one and a third. Um, because I added the salsa, I did a little bit less. Not yet. It's not ready. It's not ready. Not ready. He's saying he wants a bite. All right, we're gonna let that butter melt yeah. while we get the rest of this going. Yeah. Okay, so I actually decided that I'm gonna do the fajitas on my griddle. I took the tortillas off, wrapped them in a wet washcloth just so they can kind of steam and soften. So what I've decided to do is take this and put this on here. There's a lot more surface area, so it'll cook faster. This is an electric griddle. I just turned it up to 400, which is its highest setting. It's got a little drip dish under here, which I'm gonna collect all that and then pour it back on top so we're not losing any flavor whatsoever. I'm gonna spread this out in a nice even layer. Hey now, guys. Hey, Thea Grace, get that out of your mouth. All right, we're gonna just take this off. Put it on this tray here. because of all the fat and the oil and all that. So do be very careful. So my kids, I'm trying to get my kids out of the kitchen because I don't want them getting popped with oil. Okay, so we're gonna take, you guys can see this, we're gonna take all that yummy juice that came out while it was cooking. We're gonna pour it over the top. 
All right. So let's get the rest of our condiments out and then we will put this together. Okay, I just have some little rounds of avocado here. I grated a half a block of cheese, which my son is eating the other chunk of that cheese. It's fine. Thea, leave your brother alone. I'm a lot of poking yeah. today. Okay, um, we have our, what else was I putting on this? We have our meat. We have our cheese. Grab our tortillas over here. Grab some salsa, some sour cream. We have our red salsa and our green salsa. Guys, can we not argue for five minutes? Theo, leave the cheese alone. All right, we got our salsas, our sour cream. Let's feed some kids because they're hungry. Let's take a bite and see how good it is. Mm. You guys, there is nothing, nothing like a fresh tortilla. They're soft, they're delicious. Oh, give this one a try, it's so good. If you like steak fajitas, you like watching me cook with my kids, hit that like button, subscribe down below, and we'll see you next time. Bye. And we will help you through Cause we only want what's best What's best for